Hey everyone, today we're talking about castor oil and all the cool things it can do that you might not know about. These are the kinds of benefits your grandma might have told you about, so let's jump right in. If you go to the doctor, they might suggest castor oil for constipation, but guess what? There's a bunch of other cool stuff it can do too. I won't be able to mention everything in this video, but I'll do my best to cover as much as I can. And get ready for a surprise. Some of these tricks work for your pets too. So, it's not just you who can get some good stuff out of using castor oil. Castor oil is an antifungal, so it's no wonder that it can help cure athlete's foot. You can use it alone or mix it with maybe iodine or coconut oils, things like this that also have antifungal properties. And together, they work really powerful to get rid of athlete's foot. Do you know if you wear dentures, you can wash them in castor oil, and this will kill the bacteria and fungi and keep you from getting denture stomatitis, which is the candida fungus growing inside your dentures and then infecting your gums. So this is excellent for keeping that away and keeping all the fungus and bacteria killed. Now, before you go out and grab some castor oil, make sure you're getting organic, cold-pressed, and hexane-free castor oil. This is a brand that I like and recommend, The Heritage Store, and they have everything that we talked about, glass bottle, organic, hexane-free, and cold-pressed. So, this is a really good one to start with, and I'll leave a link for this one in the shopping bag. You also should look for castor oil that comes in a glass bottle because plastic bottles leach into the castor oil. So you don't want that. You want to get the glass. There is nothing that castor oil cannot do for your skin. So if you have a skin condition, you might try using castor oil first. So, let's start with age spots. Any kind of spots. Castor oil can get rid of them. So if you have little dark spots from the sun, or freckles or whatever, applying castor oil to the areas or even mixing it with your lotions will get rid of all of your dark spots. Castor oil is one of those things you need to be patient with because it doesn't usually work overnight, so just keep doing it. If you think it's not even working, just keep doing it and continue for a couple of months. You will see results. What about stretch marks? Do you have stretch marks, maybe from pregnancy? or maybe from growth spurts. Whatever, stretch marks can be removed with castor oil. Just apply the castor oil to your stretch marks and continue. This will slowly fade and get rid of your stretch marks. Castor oil is really well known for muscles. So if you're having any kind of sore muscles at all, maybe a torn muscle, maybe from exercise, maybe they're just hurt. Castor oil applied to these spots and massaged in will get rid of all kinds of sore muscles and help them to heal. Castor oil is so amazing for your skin. You have to give this one a try. It's amazing for wrinkles or just tightening up your skin. So even if your eyes are becoming more hooded, you know, they're sagging a little bit. Coming down, applying castor oil will help to lift and tighten up your eyes. Remove the wrinkles that you're seeing, even deep wrinkles. So castor oil is amazing for your skin and probably why it's in many cosmetics. It makes your skin feel so soft and actually helps to strengthen your skin. And as you age, your skin becomes thinner. So using castor oil over time will help your skin become stronger and more robust so it won't get so thin. So it's good to keep this as a habit. So not just for your skin, you can also try this on your pets. So your dog or cat, if they have any kind of lumps or bumps that you feel on their skin, you can apply castor oil on it and just keep applying it, you know, with a Q-tip every night. And it'll help to clear and dissolve any kind of lumps and bumps that you might see. So it works equally good for you as it does for your pets. Castor oil will get rid of any kind of lumps or bumps that you might have on your skin. Maybe you have a cyst, a skin tag, a wart, any kind of bump that you might see that doesn't look like it should be there. Try castor oil, apply this on it, leave it on. If you have a small bump, you could cover it with some bandages too to make sure that the castor oil stays on there. And just keep doing this every day for a few months and it will disappear. I use castor oil for my nails. Your nails and cuticles can grow and become much stronger and healthier if you use castor oil. And you can see this pretty instantly if you start using castor oil because you'll notice within a couple of weeks, your nails are stronger, your cuticles are really nice, so it's really great for your hands. Let's go to our eyes. Castor oil, of course, is amazing for your eyes. Amazing. It can do so many things. So a lot of people use it for dry eye. Even eye doctors have recommended using it for dry eye. You don't have to put it in your eye, you can just rub it on the eyelids, and this will help to get rid of your dry eye. It's excellent for your eyelashes, for your eyebrows. So if you want to get them thicker or grow longer, try to use castor oil. It's so easy to apply, just rub it on at night before you go to bed every day. 
It's excellent for growing your lashes. Also, on the eyes, it is excellent for cataracts. So if you're experiencing cataracts or know anyone who has cataracts, you can put one drop of castor oil in each eye. Or if you're just too scared to put it in your eye, you can just rub it again on the eyelids because this gets absorbed through into the eye. So both ways will help to cure up and completely clear your eyes of cataracts. Another good one is castor oil is really great for any kind of bug bites, bee stings, spider bites, any kind of those things. It'll help them to heal up more quickly. If you have any kind of spider bite or something like this, it helps to draw out the poison. It helps to remove the inflammation, helps to heal up faster, to remove all the pain. Apply some little bit of castor oil. It's amazing. You know something that's really cool about castor oil is it can also help with bone spurs. So this is not your skin. This is a bone. How can castor oil help fix bones? You know, that's crazy, but it can. Lots of people have used castor oil to dissolve the bone spur, be it on your foot, your hand, whatever it is. Just put castor oil packs on your bone spur and repeat this every day, and it will slowly, slowly disappear. And you can go have it x-rayed and check it out and see for yourself how well it worked. I love to hear some comments down below as well. You guys have used it for what your grandmother has used it for. Please leave some comments down below to help others. So a lot of people use castor oil packs. Castor oil patches are excellent for detoxing all your organs. So if you want to detox your liver, your pancreas, your kidneys, whatever you're trying to focus on, you can use a castor oil pack. And how it works is you just place it over this organ area and do this every day for a few hours. Some people will sleep with it, but a few hours is enough. Just apply the castor packs every day and it'll help to detox any of these organs, even if you have maybe kidney stones. It will also help to dissolve kidney stones. Give this one a try if you're having any kind of problems with your organs or you just want to do any kind of detoxification. These castor oil packs are very effective. Another way you can do it is by using a little bit of castor oil in your belly button. And this one is something you should do carefully because it can make you feel very nauseous and sick if you put too much. Some people are even more sensitive than others. So you can just put even a tiny bit on your fingertip and rub it inside your belly button and that's enough and see how you feel. And then, if you're okay with that, you know, the next day, you can see everything was fine. Then you could try a little bit more, but you really don't need too much, and you shouldn't do it every day. You know, every couple of days or every other day is enough for detoxing your body and helping to just keep it all clean. And also, most of these benefits that you get from castor oil, you can get also by just applying it in your belly button. So you don't even have to put it all over your body and all these other places. Your body will help heal from just using your belly button because so many nerve endings are through the belly button and you know your belly button is the center of where you got your nourishment when you were in the tummy. And that was enough to send the nourishment throughout your entire body. So it does the same when you're using castor oil and things in your belly button. So you want to just be very careful with it and apply a little bit at a time. See how it goes for you and you'll still get all these amazing benefits. Castor oil is excellent for psoriasis so if you have any kind of psoriasis on your skin, using castor oil will really help to clear that up and get rid of it completely. For your menstrual cycle, it is amazing for your menstrual cycle. If you're having cramps, headaches, irritability, soreness, achiness, any kind of those feelings, you should try using castor oil. And this one is good to do in the belly button every other day, and you should have no side effects for your period next time it comes around. So try that and let us all know how well it works for you. And let's go on to the hair. There's lots to talk about the hair. Yes, castor oil does work amazing for your hair. You need to use it correctly. We're not going to go over all the uses about how to use it in this video, but using castor oil can help to thicken your hair, can help to stop the hair loss. It can help to repair your scalp. So if you have any kind of scalp infection, it'll help to heal up your scalp. It does help your hair to grow longer than, of course, because you have a more healthy, thicker, stronger hair. It's excellent for your hair. You can use it in so many ways for your hair. You can use hair packs. You can put some in your shampoo. You can just apply it on your scalp every day. And people use it in so many ways. The point is to just get it on your head. So use it if you want any kind of results you're trying to fix your hair. Castor oil is definitely one of those ingredients you should be adding to your hair regimen. Some sicknesses you might think about are all of them. It's good for all of them. If you have a cold, you have a cough, you have a flu, castor oil, take it one spoon. If you have any kind of edis, maybe you have IBS. A lot of people have this. 
It's excellent to get rid of IBS, use the castor oil packs. If you have any kind of ulcerative colitis, if you have any kind of ulcers, if you have headaches, you can use castor oil, rub castor oil on your head, massage it in. It will help to relieve your headaches. It even works for different types of cancer, especially tissue cancer like breast cancer, skin cancer. Castor oil is really effective and worked for many, many people, so you could try this one. Oh, one we didn't talk about is your thyroid. It helps to keep your thyroid healthy. So you can do this by just rubbing the castor oil into your neck every day. Or you can add it to your lotion and just apply it like your moisturizer every day to help improve your thyroid conditions. A few others you might try it for are fibroids, shingles, any kind of cold sore. You can apply castor oil. It is excellent for any kind of sickness. You should just give it a try if you're experiencing anything. Castor oil is usually helpful in some way, so this is pretty much a go-to for so many elements. We're going to stop here, but there are so many more. So who cannot use castor oil? Pregnant women should be careful using castor oil. You should talk with your doctor first, as using castor oil can induce labor, which is why it's so good for your digestion, because it helps to move those organs in there, and that helps to aid your digestion, which you don't always want if you're pregnant. So this is the only category to really watch to make sure you check on is if you are pregnant before using castor oil. Okay, I hope you guys are excited to use castor oil as I am and start using it. I'm using it for right now. I use it for my skin, my moisturizer. I use it for my hands and nails. I use it for my feet. It's great for your skin and your whole body. So give it a try and let me know and everyone else how it's been working for you. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.